March 20th, John Fox. Welcome to 365 Christian Men, where every day we aim to inspire and encourage with real life stories about men. Fox was an English Protestant author best known for his book on martyrs. Before he began his massive work, with possibly the longest title of any work ever published in the English language, he taught logic at Oxford, he served as a private tutor, and he wrote Latin plays with biblical themes. On this date, in 1563, the John Day Press in England published the English version of Fox's Martyrology. We know this book by its shorter, popular title, Fox's Book of Martyrs. Fox based the book on documents of trials for heresy and on statements from friends of those who were condemned and executed as heretics. Fox wrote about his disagreement with the Catholic Church. He said, A person should be able to see that the religion of Christ, meant to be spirit and truth, had been turned into nothing but outward observances, ceremonies, and idolatry. We had too many churches, too many relics, true and fake, too many untruthful miracles. Instead of worshiping the only living Lord, we worshiped dead bones. Sometimes a little listening can do more than any amount of talk. Silence blanketed the room as friends and relatives gathered around the small woman huddled on her bed. Her red eyes, finally drained of tears, stared straight ahead. Physicians had come and gone, and they claimed her melancholy life would soon take her to the grave. Her local church offered prayers, but even they felt pessimistic about her chances of recovery. In truth, those present were simply waiting for her to die. If they noticed the man's arrival, no one acknowledged it. He knelt beside the bed, prayed out loud for the woman to feel God's comfort, and then he did what no one else had done. He simply sat beside the woman and waited patiently for her to speak. John Fox knew only that the older woman had fallen into a deep depression and that her family had given up hope for her survival. For many days, he returned to sit at her bedside, praying out loud for her to feel God's comfort and waiting patiently for her to speak. Finally, she did speak. Mrs. Honeywood shared with Fox her many experiences over the years visiting prisoners to bring them comfort and her greatest despair coming as they were beheaded or burned at the stake under Queen Mary's rule. She was particularly haunted by the death of one prisoner, John Bradford, whom she had prayed with and believed to be a good man. On the day of his execution, she had followed John to Smithfield, prayed for him and offered support even as the guards tied him to the stake and lit the fire. She remembered with horror how many people stood in the open air that day, waiting to watch a man burn to death, a man who had never hurt anyone. Fox spent many days by Mrs. Honeywood's side, listening to her thoughts and worries, always reassuring her that her prayers and work with prisoners had been meaningful and that she belonged to God. Little by little, she emerged from her depression until she was whole again. Cheerful and engaged with her life, she lived another 30 years. Deeply involved with her church and community, she and Fox remained close friends until the day she died. In Galatians 6.2, God tells us, carry each other's burdens, And in this way, you will fulfill the law of Christ. Are there some people in your life who need a good listener? Think about your family and friends. Would they say you are a good listener? Is today the day you pray and ask God to let you listen with His ears and feel with His heart? Sometimes, a little listening 
can do more than any amount of talk. Thank you for listening to today's story. Every day of the year, our hope is to inspire you with real life stories of faithful men who have gone before us. Hebrews 12.1 says, Therefore, since we are surrounded by so great a cloud of witnesses, let us lay aside every weight and the sin that so easily ensnares us. Let us run with endurance the race that is set before us. Join us tomorrow for another story at 365christianmen.com.